Hello, this is the time to present you the English news. CEO Abdullah Abdullah, John Bass, U.S. Ambassador to Afghanistan, Sabaha Shah, Desai, India's Minister for Industries and Mining and other officials on Wednesday, officially opened the second annual India-Afghanistan International Trade and Investment Show in India's Mumbai city. Abdullah arrived in Mumbai early Wednesday and addressed guests at opening ceremony. He said that holding of the exhibition is a big success for Afghanistan and India, and this exhibition will develop the trade and economic relations between Afghanistan and India and other countries. The United States ambassador to Afghanistan tweeted that please to be in Mumbai today to participate in launch of big U.S. sponsored India-Afghanistan trade and investment showcasing Afghan entrepreneur and business opportunities. Russian President says Moscow knows identity of the two men accused by UK of attempting to murder former double agent. Russia President Vladimir Putin has said that the two men accused by the United Kingdom of attempting to murder a former Russian double agent and his daughter are not criminals and have been identified as civilians. British prosecutors charged two Russian nationals identified as Alexander Petrov and Roslan Bahirov last week for allegedly poisoning former spy Sergei Skrepel and his daughter Iwela with military grade never nerve agent in the city of Salisbury in March. Putin is speaking at the Eastern Economic Forum in Russian port city of Vladivostok say that Russia had found the two men that there was nothing criminal about them and that he hoped they would come forward and tell the world their own history. Members of peace movement say they want Pakistan's to know their government is not honest in its dealings with Afghanistan. The People's Peace Movement said on Tuesday they will send a bloodstained letter to the United Nations on Wednesday in a symbolic gesture about Pakistan's involvement in the ongoing war. The peace activists are also on Wednesday expected to leave their current sign in protest venue outside the Pakistan embassy in Kabul and move to the Iranian embassy. The activists have sent, spent the past 12 days outside the Pakistan embassy and have called on Islamabad to cooperate honestly with Afghanistan and its bid for peace. The Afghan forces have seized a truck packed with a large quantity of explosives in southeastern Pakistan province of Afghanistan. The Afghan Intelligence National Director of Security say the truck was seized by India's special forces in Argu, Argu district. According to a statement released by India, the Afghan forces have discovered 65 sacks of aluminum nitrate which is used in manufacturing improvised explosive devices. The statement further added that the vehicle was on its way from Wana to Ghazni province when it was spotted and seized by the India Special Forces. Afghan government or militant groups have not commented according to the report so far. Taliban and other militants often used IED as the weapon of their choice to target the security forces and government, but in majority of such attacks, ordinary civilians are targeted. Besides, such attacks often claim the lives of the militants as well. Thank you. That was the brief. Take care. Bye.